Over the past several months, as we've worked towards bringing a tighter integration of drone blocks with Unitree Go One, uh, we've really focused on simplifying the process of uh, getting up and running with some of the sample repositories. For example, today we'll look at the Unitree Legit SDK, which has both C++ and Python examples for interfacing with Go One. And I'll mention that uh, there's quite a bit of work uh, to get up and running uh, with software development. You'll need to install many dependencies which have sub-dependencies and it really becomes a challenge. So in this video, I'm going to share some work we've done with Windows Subsystem for Linux. We also refer to it as WSL. Uh, this will allow us to run a Linux instance on Windows and for this example, we'll be using Ubuntu and you'll need to make sure that your prerequisites are covered. As discussed on this page, I'll put a link to it beneath the video. Assuming you meet those requirements, the installation of WSL is very simple. You just need to open up your terminal or PowerShell, run WSL dash dash install, and then you're ready to go. We've created a WSL image for you to download. This has all of the dependencies pre-installed as well as the Unitree Legit SDK example code. So I'll put a link below the video. Be sure to download this. I'll move forward with opening up PowerShell. I can just do a WSL-L-V. I have some previous distributions currently installed. A side note, we are working on a, a Docker image for you to use. Next thing we'll do is we'll import the image that uh, we just downloaded and I'll explain what's going on here. I'm using the WSL import command. We'll give this instance name Unitree SDK Dev. I'll have it uh, create the file system on my desktop. And then finally, uh, this is the actual download file. Your path will obviously be different, but I have it in my downloads folder and I'll go ahead and execute this command. This may take up to a minute the image is imported, so I'll do a WSL-L-V again. You can see here, you'll notice here that we have the Unitree SDK dev. It's stopped, and we'll go ahead and launch it. So the way we start the distribution is WSL-D, give it the name. I'm taken immediately into the distribution. So I'll go to my home directory and this is where we have the Unitree Legit SDK. And you'll notice that if we look at this folder, this is the same structure as what we have in the GitHub repo. And what I'll do now is create a build directory. We'll go ahead and compile the C++ code, run that, and then we'll move on to Python. So I'll make directory a build, and then I'll just run the CMake command. And then finally, I'll run make. This is compiling all of the C++ examples. If we do an LS, you'll notice that we have all of these ready to execute. Go one is powered up. I'll go ahead and connect to its network. Before I run the program, I'll mention that I have my remote powered on. That's obviously important in case you need to uh, take manual control. And we'll run the example walk program. And I'll mention that uh, there are many different commands you can send to go one. We're focusing on example walk because it is a high level control mode. Uh, high level means we can send various commands. Go one will perform. Uh, those different actions, but we also have many examples of low level control, and that's when we need to have Go One suspended because uh, we're moving the joints and maybe trying to teach it some sort of new motion uh, that would not be possible to do while Go One is uh, standing under its own weight. So I'll go ahead and click enter to run example walk. It asks to, to make sure that Go One is standing on the ground. I'll hit enter again. You'll see that the uh, various joints are moving and then various commands are being sent for Go One to perform the different movements.
This is all currently done through code, the C++ example, and we'll see something uh, fairly similar with Python. So I'll go ahead and press Control C, stop the program, and then what you'll notice is that we're currently in joint mode, which means uh, we're just moving each of the individual joints. And to exit out of that, we'll press Start. And now we have manual control of Go1 again. Let's go into our example Pi directory. We'll notice that there are Python equivalents of our programs. Let's just take a quick peek into the example walk Pi script and you'll see uh, something very similar to what we observed with the C++. There's a bunch of different uh, time-based commands between zero and one second. We're moving some of the joints uh, from one to two, something very similar. And then we get down to, let's say, uh, second nine to 11. We're going to command mode five, then we'll go to six and so on. Now, we'll cover in an upcoming video uh, what all these commands mean. This video is just really focused on being able to uh, run the code and understand how to interface uh, with Go1 using this WSL image. Now I'll go ahead and run Python 3 example walk. And you'll notice something very similar with the C++ program, the joints are moving. And then when done, we can hit Control C. For example, I might be running into the wall. So Control C will cancel the script. We now have manual control, so I'll bring Go1 back. In this video, we covered using the Unitree Legit SDK with both C++ and Python for the Go1. And we're able to do that with the WSL image We'll put links to WSL documentation as well as the download to our image below. We're also working on a Docker image that we'll be releasing very soon, so please stay tuned. And if you have any questions, feel free to join community.droneblocks.io and post over here. I hope this video was helpful and we'll definitely look forward to sharing more information about uh, Go1 programming in the near future. Thanks for watching.